everybody, Hikaru Cosplay here, and I've got another vlog for ya. This time, it's about comic books and cosplay. Actually, right now, I am cosplaying a comic book character. Josie Schuler from Lady Killer. If you haven't read Lady Killer, go read it now. There are fi all five issues are out. Unfortunately, my fifth issue is still coming in the mail. But it's very good. It's a 1950s housewife who's also secretly an assassin. What's not to love? So what I love about comic book cosplays is it can be super obscure or it can be super mainstream. And they can be super simple from something really casual or like a morph suit of Spider-Man to something incredibly intricate. It can also be super obscure like say Josie Schuler. Or it can be something incredibly mainstream like Captain America. So comic book cosplays, they're essentially for everybody. You can have so much fun with it. And even if you choose a character that's mainstream, chances are they're going to go through a lot of costume changes or they're going to have casual versions or pretty much anything that you can essentially stretch your wings and just go for it. You can have fun, you can just try anything out. That's, that's part of the fun of it, in my opinion. I mean, take Hellcat, for example. She's one of my favorite Marvel comic book heroes. One day I will finally cosplay her. One day. But over the span of a five-issue comic book series that they did of her, much like Josie here, that it was only five issues, focused just on her. It was super awesome. Love it. Um, she had her main outfit. She had a modeling outfit. She had a ski outfit in one panel. She had so many outfits, and it just opens up a world of possibilities for cosplayers. So if you ever have some sort of creative blog, go to the comic book store, look around, see what there is to Say you want to do Harley Quinn and you want to do something a little different. Something that not a lot of people have seen. Well, I can guarantee you in the current New 52 version of Harley Quinn, it's like she ha I swear, she has a different outfit in every single comic book. Multiple ones. And if you don't even like something that's out, you can do something completely different with it. Hey, maybe you want to do a street clothes version. Hey, maybe you want to do a steampunk version. That's the beauty of comic book cosplays, is that there is just this limited amount of possibilities. Infinite, infinite amount. Now, I'm going to address something that is often talked about, you know, relevant to comic book cosplays. And that is the issue of fake geek girls. Now that is something that I could just dedicate an entire video to, but I won't because I want to link it to this. I want to condense it since it is a topic that is so widely discussed. For those of you who don't know what that means, the fake geek girls is when um, a girl is accused of or thought of um, liking comic books just so she can get guys or you know just, she's not really a fan. This is often accused by males, uh, male comic book fans. It's just this weird sexist thing. It's ridiculous. It's just a bunch of fans who really just don't want comic books to be mainstream because growing up as kids it wasn't and it was seen as uncool. Now all of a sudden comic books are seen as cool so it's like oh let's... But if you're new to comic books and you want to do comic book cosplays, don't be afraid. Guess what? Wikipedia and Google can be your best friend. If you don't know anything or you feel like you're gonna get quizzed about your character, go look it up. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to go into your comic book store and say, hey, I'm new. Do you have any recommendations? So just don't be afraid to just start exploring and picking up books. Spend some time, read a few, flip a few, buy a few. Single issues really don't cost a lot of money. Sometimes the back issues, when they're selling back issues, they amp up the price a little bit, but typical issues cost around three or four bucks. So it's like, it's not that bad. But again, don't be afraid to go Google in on the internet, ask questions to the comic book store. And remember, it's not just Marvel and DC. There are other comic book companies too. You don't even have to just read superhero comics. I mean, look at Lady Killer. 
This is not a superhero comic by any means. Sure, it's got action in it, but there are plenty of other stuff for you to read. Another one of my personal favorites is Bee and Puppy Cat. It's still coming out. It's based off of the web series Bee and Puppy Cat. It's really good. It's magical. It's adorable. It's cute. Go read it if that's what you're kind of into. Another one of my favorite comic book series is Sandman. All the issues are out. They have them in the full graphic novels, but that's a little bit darker and realistic. It's written by Neil Gaiman, who I'm sure a lot of you guys know. Love Sandman, but I also love a lot of Marvel and DC. And again, they're not the only companies out there. They're just the most well-known. And they've got a wide range of characters and storylines that you can look at. So you're not just limited to Superman and Spider-Man. They're not the only characters out there. Now some of you may be wondering why I'm making this video, and that is because Special Edition NYC is coming up! First weekend of June! I can't wait to go! It's the sister event to New York Comic Con. It's a comic book only event. They just take essentially just their artist alley and that's it and also some panels as well. It's a lot smaller, but it's really actually a great con. The for This is the second year running. They also offer a limited amount of New York Comic Con passes there. So one ticket to Special Edition can, if you so choose, equal one ticket to New York Comic Con. Anyway, comic book cosplays. You can go super intricate and detailed to something super simple. It's open up to every single type of skill level, every single type of enjoyment, every single type of costume you could ever want, go check it out if you ever have cost what I like to call cosplay idea block where you just don't know what you want to do. Now as always, please like and subscribe and make a comment below if you have some thoughts about this topic or you want me to discuss another any other topic. As always, there are links in the description below to other cosplay related stuff. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day!